Hello guys, today is going to be episode 1 of DMZ Devil May Cry, a game that is very controversial within the Devil May Cry series, um, <clears throat> and I will be covering it, and the way we're going to be doing this is, every mission is going to be one episode, including all the different cutscenes and whatnot, so let's begin shall we, new game. We're going to be doing this with hardcore mode activated. Um, it's a more it's balance of the game style system and whatnot. Uh, we're going to be using. There are different skins in this version of the game. It's the uh, definitive edition, and we're just going to be using the standard skin for now. But maybe in in later episodes, I will use some of the other skins. But I don't really like doing this, and we'll prob you'll probably see why later on when we do start using the skins. The difficulty we'll be playing on is Nephilim, which is the hardest mode for a new game. There are other difficulty modes unlocked after we beat the game, though. But I'll show those off in an extra video later on down the line. So, we are going. Would you like tutorial missions? Well, m missions, tutorial messages to display. Yes, because I've played this game before, but some of y'all may have not. So I'm going to let tutorials play no matter what. And I will try to stay quiet during cutscenes as well. Yes, by close of trading Friday. <laughs> no, you can't have more time. You know the terms, you know the consequences. <laughs> no, this is not a veiled threat. This is a direct one. Should you fail to comply, the collapse of the economy will be on your head. I will make sure that you are stripped of power, shamed, and hated. Is that clear enough for you? Yeah. Friday it is, then. You have a good night, Mr. President. Did you get it, my darling? Over a trillion. Oh. Soon I will own everything worth owning. Mm. I will control the world through debt. I have absolute power. <laughs> The world is at last your bitch. What's the matter? What? What's the matter? A loose end. A loose end? What? The son of the traitor Sparta. Dante. Him. He's still out there. The hunters will find him. They found Sparta in his war. When they do... I will rip open his chest with my bare hands and feast on his beating heart. That is our villain for this game if that wasn't obvious enough. I'll oh, shut up, there's another cutscene starting. Can't stay away. 
DMC, Devil May Cry. That was the uh, opening sequence, if that wasn't obvious enough. And uh, it actually shows a few things that I actually like. It's a, a touch that of stuff. Well, of stuff, it's uh, more hints at like the story and how this world works compared to the older games. you saw there claims to represent an organization called the order now this group has claimed responsibility for several serious attacks in recent weeks he is undoubtedly a traitor and a terrorist and i for one am not for the death penalty so, one way to do it illegally shoot the son of a bitch this is bob barbas just doing God's work. Dante, get out of there! You're in danger! Who are you? What do you want? You were careless. You left a trail. Now he's on to you. What are you talking about? Who's on to me? The hunter demon. <gasps> he's here. Finally, gameplay! Sorry, I had to do a test there to make sure my mic was on. Combat options are very limited right now, but as we progress, our combat options will get better and better as we get upgrades and just more items in general. Right now the game is just teaching us how to play and telling us, you know, stuff about the game, our currency, the white orbs and the red orbs red orbs are you are bait usually your experience so to speak in other games but they changed that for this ninja theory changed that for this game uh white orbs in in this game are your experience quite literally as they net you upgrade points Right now are just a lot of our, our cutscene. I'll talk over the in-game cutscenes like these or whatever. But uh, right now our options and everything is very limited. 
combat and movement. So right now we just have to run and jump. Fun fact, you can actually be crushed by that. Found that out the hard way during testing for this. I almost died there. Target practice. Right on cue. Now we have Dante's signature guns. Ebony and Ivory. If you like being direct, you can jump in their face and just shoot and slice them in half. Doing some basic combos. This game actually has an interesting history about it. And we'll get more into that as we progress and I can just talk more about the game. Um, well this game was originally re released on 2013, I believe. My name is Kat. I'm not, a demon. I'm not gonna talk over this. I'm still in the real world. You're in limbo. How come I can see you clearly? I'm a medium, a, a psychic. I can phase into limbo and communicate with you. I can see you, talk to you, but I'm not actually in limbo with you. If I pull the trigger? I'll die. I'm risking my life here for you. I want to help. I don't need your help. The hunter has dragged you into limbo. I can get you out. I've been down here before. I know how to get out. You fight whatever shit second demon dragged you in here. I don't want to fight the hunter. He's not your regular demon. Follow me. Now. And we're back. But like I was saying, this game has an interesting history about it and why it is the way it is. And this game was originally released in 2013, I believe, for the Xbox and well for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. However, Ninja Theory and Capcom both knew that the original reception for this game wasn't it wasn't very well received to say the least. So they re-released it for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One under the Definitive Edition, which, like I said, adds the hardcore mode to all the difficulties, which is basically just a rebalancing of the score system and whatnot. It adds Turbo Mode. Turbo. Turbo. Sounds like I'm saying Turbo. Turbo Mode. Uh, which speeds up the game by 20%, and I'm not sure if I'm actually on Turbo Mode right now. I'll check that in the options menu. And this is something we don't get really get to see a lot of right here is well, very creative environmental kills. A lot of times it's just launching an enemy off of a cliff or something like that. Nothing like this though. Wee! It's it's fun though. I just and I just take damage from that. Nice. But that uh tells us about uh that just told us about getting an upgrade point, which can be used at Divinity statues. Uh, to, uh, you know, uh, upgrade, basically. And I believe here we're getting the only 
item pickup in the game that isn't like a recovery item. And I believe this is the only gold orb we can obtain as well. But that'll revive us if we happen to die in a stage. However, I will try to not do that. Because dying lowers your score. And scores are already going to be low. From um, just not having equipment to like kill things in creative ways. Like to get style points and whatnot. But just from, you know, not being able to collect every item since some items are locked to behind upgrade walls. Or basically walls where we need an item to get to them. So anyways, this is the shop. Now we'll be going to the shop in between every mission. But sometimes, mostly, most of the time, you'll see these shops or divinity statues in stages. So if you are low on health and you need to buy an item or whatever. So we have items here. We have stars or well, vital stars, which will recover health. We have two small ones since there are items in stages. There's a large one here, which covers recovers all health. We have gold orbs, which is revive. We have a health cross, which is to upgrade our health. We have the item finder, which is yeast. That's a lot of orbs. This beeps whenever we're near secret items and whatnot, or just collectibles. So it seems whatever demons do in Limbo affects the real world as well. Death perception was off there. And if you're paying attention, you can see that enemies can also damage each other. Now this isn't this isn't the case for every enemy, but a lot of times enemies can hit each other and do damage. Like with those with the bathhouse bombs hey. there. You can also skip cutscenes by pressing the home button. Oh, which takes you directly to the uh, item menu. Get lost. Oh shit. Sadly, shooting that does nothing to the enemy. Okay, we have a hallway here. I'll go back to that in a second. Nothing over here. Okay, here we have a secret mission. And we collected a key earlier, so... Let's open the door. And you need keys to open these. And secret missions will have a certain um, task for you to do. If you could do this task, you'll be rewarded with an upgrade. In this one, enemies will only take damage in the air. However, you can take damage no matter what. I 
a lot of these are pretty easy there's one that I hate later on down the down the line it's called substance oh oh we didn't get the other one in the air as well And this one is pretty easy to be all things considered. We're fighting some slightly stronger enemies than, than what we've been seeing in the levels so far. But nothing too bad. And we cleared it with little to no difficulties. Now this is a health cross fragment. Similar to pieces of heart from Zelda. If we collect four of these, we will be rewarded with a full health cross. Now, you can buy health crosses from the shop, as I demonstrated earlier, but I find it better to conserve your red orbs, to buy recovery items, and to save up for that item finder thing, or whatever. Jump scare! Now this will be the second Devil May Cry game that I've played and beaten and completed a fair amount. I've played Devil May, I've played all the games, but I've only completed four 100%. That was with guides and whatnot. To look for the special places that the uh, missions are hid. And I've played Devil May Cry 3 and beaten it, but not to completion. Um, overall, I think this game is pretty decent. Some people hate it. Some people love it. I think it's pretty okay. It's not as bad as some people say it is. And over here we have a door we can't get to yet. This is one thing that I don't necessarily like about the game. But I guess it does add points to, for replayability. Uh, we need a weapon that we do not currently have. So if we want to come get this, we have to come back with the weapon that we get from another stage. Funny enough, we get the item that we need to open the door with in the next stage. So I might come back beforehand. I might not. It depends what I decide to do later on down the road. This is our second lost soul. And I believe that's the only one we can that's find. Those are the only two we can find right now. Not good. Yeah, whatever. Now, some people don't really like this Dante, and say that he's not nothing. Say that he's nothing like the other Dante. But in my opinion, I mean, he's very similar to the old Dante. At least, their personalities are very similar, but just with different contexts. This Dante, this Dante, <laughs> this Dante is more of a um, emo sort of Dante. Not really emo, but that's just the first word to come to my mind. Not really emo. This Dante is more out of it. He's more apathetic than the other one Dante is. He does have some witty lines here and there. But this, and they're both like the lone wolf kind of character. But this Dante is just more of a... I don't really know how to explain it. He's more of a modern version of that kind of archetype. I'm going to be purchasing an upgrade because we have two of them. I meant to part do this earlier, but uh, I forgot about it. I'm going to be getting a, a shoot level two from my gun so they do a little more damage. And then I'll be getting um, drive we'll take you back to the real world. for the sword. It gives me a little range attack. I 
As far as I know, as far as I know, there are no collectibles here. To my knowledge. I think it'd be pretty dumb if there were. Because I have not found all the collectibles. You know, here and whatnot. Okay then. Let's fight. Because that's one thing I do have trouble with. This will be our first of very few boss battles. Hold on a second, I'm gonna turn down the music and the sound effects. I turned them down before starting recording, but they get a little too loud. It could just be me though. But despite what Cat said, um, the limbs of this thing are pretty vulnerable to attacks. So even if she hadn't done that thing with the Molotov there, Dante still could have chopped this thing up pretty nicely if he just focused on everything else. Oh, you feel it now, don't you? Well, this boss fight's pretty simple. He can do a few swipes with his knife or whatever, but I don't think they're pretty easy to dodge if you're paying attention. He has a few other attacks, like this one right here. He breathes smoke. And then he's gonna throw his sword at us. But if you're not the dodging type, if you're not super good at dodging, you can shoot it. Uh, I failed there. If you're not the super dodging type, you can shoot the knife and slow it down a little bit. So you can dodge better. But of course, if you're a good dodger, you can just dodge no matter what. Ah. I wasn't paying attention there. But I'm not the best at these kind of games, but I do, I have that a lot, but that's just because of some questionable enemy design that I'll get into when we get into other stages. Also me not paying attention, like right there. But this guy can get pretty brutal on harder difficulties, because he has one other attack that I don't know if we're going to be able to see because we're playing on... Uh, just the Nephilim mode, which is the hardest difficulty for like a new game like I said at the beginning of this But I don't know if he can do that other attack unless he is on son of Sparta and the other difficulties Wow <laughs> That was easy And we're almost done here. And we're done. Game over. Son of Sparta. Son of who? You have been found. You are dead. Just like your mother. Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. to me please I helped you back there I didn't ask for your help <laughs> we know all about 
about you, Dante. I'm with an organization called The Order. Heard of it? Something to do with that mass freak on the net. That's my boss. Wonderful. Can't wait. We just received a report of a terrorist attack that's taken place at the Bellevue Pier in the Western District of the city. Police are asking the public to remain vigilant. Further, terrorist attacks could take place anywhere, anytime, and when you least expect them. We have your scent, son of Sparta. Now it is just a matter of time. Yeah, like I said, the, um, sorry about that flare there, but yeah, the, uh, scores are gonna be pretty low until we can get some better, not necessarily better, but some more, more equipment and upgrades and whatnot for our combos. But after every mission, the score will be submitted to the leaderboards. Um, we'll get ranks on style points, which is combos, time for the mission, uh, completion which if you collect every item in the stage you will immediately get an SSS for completion which kind of makes style and time pretty obsolete in my opinion but hey whatever it's their game not mine so um, on to the next mission well, and turbo mode was turned off, so I guess I'll turn that on. Well, this has been part one. I'll see you guys in part two for the next mission.